now the next thing that we will do is we have to add a condition on our man dot dot that is if the user is already logged in then we will send the user to the home page but if the user is not already logged in then the user will stay on the login screen so here we can add that condition we will check firebase auth dot instance dot current user if that become equals to null then simply send the user to the login screen which means that user is not logged in else send the user to the home page and just like on our login screen uh, when the user is logged in successfully we get the current user information which you see here okay if everything goes successful first we check if the user is blocked by the admin or not and if the user is not blocked then we get the uh, other information which we need for example currently we get the name same we can do on the home screen let's say if the user is already logged in into the app and the admin blocked the user then we have to log the out forcefully from the app if the admin blocked the user then the user must be forced to go out from the app that is the user will not be allowed to use the app so for that purpose we have to add the condition on our home page as well so what we can do is just like we did here okay we will just go to our home page and here let's minimize this above the widget build we will implement a method you will give it name as get user info and check block status and we will create a reference to the database for the current user who is logged in firebase auth dot current dot instance dot current user dot uid so we get the current user reference to the database and now using that reference just like we did here on our login screen the same we can do there so just copy this whole piece of code from here okay and go back to the home page dot dot So now what we need to do here we need to we need to make this method asynchronous and we have to wait for the response that is first we are checking if that user exists then we check if the block status is equals to no that is the admin has not blocked this user okay then we will get the name assign it to this and of course we do not need that here on the home page and in case let's say if the uh, admin is if the admin has blocked the user the else statement will execute and in that case we will we will have to make sure that we send the user back to the login and of course let's create an instance of our common methods we can say common methods common methods instance now what we can do is in the same way if if that user do not exist we do not want to execute this else statement okay which is your record do not exist instead what you can do is you can simply uh, we have to make sure that the user is sign out no need to display the display snack bar okay and then we will send the user back to the login screen if this if the user not exist in the database then of course this else statement will execute you will send the user to login screen now is the time to call this method so we can call this method from inside 
once we get the user current position then we can call our get user get user info and check block status so now once uh, it get the user current location it will call that method we are first we are checking if that user exists and if it exists then we are checking if let's say the admin has blocked this user then the else statement will execute in that case and in that case we will force the user to go to the login screen that is it will be automatic the user will be automatically sent to the login screen and this message will be visible uh, in a snack bar to the user that is you are blocked by the admin and similarly uh, if the admin has not blocked then in that case we just get this information from the database make sure to add this inside a set state like this so once you do this now let's install the app on our phone and let's see the result so the app is running now it get the user current location and now if you click here you will see the username that is the current online user name you will see here for example in my case Muhammad Ali is the online user so he see his name and also guys on the login screen uh, where we are checking okay that is we have to wait for the response 